Hey there, folks. I had a subscriber ask me, what's better, the Freemax Maxis Max or the Vupoo Drag X? So I guess it's time to find out what's better, single battery pod mod or dual battery pod mod. Ain't nothing to it, but to get into it. Don't you just hate it when you come up with the wrong angle? There we go. So what's better? The Vupu Drag X or the Freemax Maxis Max? Well, right off the bat, you can tell the difference between these two. Single battery versus dual battery. Common sense is gonna tell you a single battery is only gonna last you, let's say 3000 milliamp hours versus having double the capacity with dual batteries. Pretty obvious, pretty straightforward, but it doesn't end there. What's better for the average person out there? Well, each person's gonna to have to make their own decision on what's better for you, but we can break this all down into some very simple comparisons between these two items. Obviously, one takes a single 18650 battery and the other one takes two 18650 batteries. But the real difference, I think, comes from the pods themselves. And the reason is because the coils on these are completely different. Here we have the single mesh coil for the Maxis Max. And then here we have a Vupu. This is the GTX coil, but we have the PNP coils here. So you can take an up close and look and see what the difference is. Now this one's an old used coil. But take a look at the diameter difference between the two of them. Let me open up the box. Look at the size difference. Look how much more cotton is in the MX coil compared to the PMP coil. And look at the difference in the diameter on the inside of that. This is gonna have a lot more airflow. It's gonna be able to produce a lot more vapor than this one does. The advantage and something that they pushed as far as marketing goes for the Maxis Maxes, you get real sub ohm vaping out of a pod mod. And they're the first ones to come up with double and triple mesh coil options. Look at that, dual mesh coils there. And I finally got my hands on the triple mesh coil. You literally get three of these with a triple mesh coil. Inside, a simple pod. So how about I go and throw a little juice on this and give it a try before the end of the video. Now, simple plug and play, flip the rubber lid open to fill. Just like that. Now for this one, same idea. Press fit. And to fill this one, you need to flip open the rubber thing from the bottom of the pod. All right, so it boils down to the fact that we've got a bunch of different coil options available for the MX coils or the PNP coils. Now the Maxis Max, you've got single, double, and triple coil options available to you. For the Vupu PNP coils, you've got like six different options, but they're all single coil options. All different sizes of mesh, different resistances, but they're not going to be able to produce the same amount of vapor that you get out of a big, real sub-ohm coil like they have in the Maxis Max. 
And to my knowledge, they're the only pod mod that gives you double and triple coil options. So what else is different between these two? Well, obviously you're gonna have a lot more cloud production out of the Maxxis Max than you do out of the Drag X. Bigger coils, bigger mesh size, bigger cotton, more mesh, that means more flavor. Well, the other difference is they're both using different kinds of coil technology inside of this. Maxxis Max talks about their FM uh, Coil Tech 4.0 technology. Fancy marketing words, but it all boils down to the fact that they're using T-fiber cotton in here. What's in this one? I think it's just regular organic cotton. Is there a difference? I think there is. When you go and you put a brand new coil in this one, the flavor on your first drag on this pops. It's a nice, clean, bright flavor from your e-liquid. You get a nice, clean flavor on this one, but it doesn't really pop as much. It's just a simple, clean flavor. So they're both good choices. It's just this one edges out a little bit on that aspect of it. I know, and a lot of the stuff comes down to marketing terms. They're both gonna tout about having military grade mesh structure. Sounds good, but kind of useless for us on the consumer end of things. What's really more important is the design that they go and use for the actual mesh that is inside this. What is the ratio of mesh to the cotton that you have there? And balancing that out just right with the airflow is what makes a world of difference. For me, the single coil option lasted me two to three weeks on average. I've gone through about five or six of these coils so far, and they all last two to three weeks. All depends on what kind of juice I put them in. Put it in there. If I use a commercial e-liquid that's high in sweetener and high in different flavoring contents, I'm gonna be closer to the two week mark than I am the three week mark. When I use my own DIY liquid, I'm closer to the three, the one week I got, the one coil I got almost four weeks out of. Now, when you move up to the double and the triple mesh coils, you're gonna be cutting that down because you've got less cotton and less mesh. So the surface area is gonna be comparable to what you would have with the PMP coils. It's common sense. So the longevity of this is typically about a week. And when you shove really high sweet content juice through here, you might not get a whole week out of it. You might only get four or five days out of it. All depends on the juice that you're using. When you make your own and you cut back on the sweeteners, and only put enough flavoring to satisfy you, well, you can double the life of your coil just by doing that. Regardless, bigger coils are going to last longer than these little coils. So what else we got to compare the difference? We've talked about the coils are different, the options are different, and the different lengths of uh, flavor and different Late longevity of the coils. Well, I guess we actually have to take a look at the devices. What's different between these devices? Well, the obvious difference is your screen size. You've got a nice, big, clean screen on this one that is easy to see. They're using an embedded multi-layer screen on this one. Scratch resistant outside surface and beautifully visible from all different angles. This one uses a 0.96 inch screen and you can tell there's flicker from this one whereas the multi-layer screen has no flicker to it. You also have different layout. This one is very easily red even for somebody with my eyesight. Clear representation of what your ohms are in your coil this one here, it's so small, you can't hardly even read what the ohms are for that coil. Plus they've got this bar graph on here, taking up part of the screen. This one is a little bit brighter 
than this one because it's behind this clear screen, but that's about the only advantage the Drag X has over the Maxxis Max. The other difference is this one has four different color options. The Drag X only has one color option. If you have it in manual mode, it's blue. You switch it to smart mode, it's red. That's it. So those are your big, big differences between these two. Now, we can take our pods off and go to the real difference. Single battery versus dual battery. Well, common sense is gonna tell you, two batteries are always gonna be better than one. Yeah, you've got the size difference between the two of them, but realistically, there's not that much of a difference. And for me, having twice the battery capacity makes a world of difference. You go out with this, let's say you're going to the kids, you're going with the kids to the zoo, you might use up that entire battery before your trip at the zoo is over. And then that means you gotta have a spare battery with you or you're done vaping until you get back home or back to your car where you got a battery. With this one, this is definitely gonna last you all day long. Not a problem whatsoever. So, single battery, dual battery, big difference. The other difference is, with a single battery, you're limited to 100 watts output. And the thing is, if you're running this thing at a high wattage, well, you're gonna use up that battery faster. And you're gonna get to notice towards the end of that battery life that you're not getting the full wattage out that you asked for it. The advantage of a dual battery device like this one is, you've got 168 watts of capacity. And yes, you're never gonna vape that at 168 watts. But like everything else, increased capacity means when you're operating in the ideal range for this, like for the single coil you're running at 70 watts, this thing is gonna produce 70 watts the whole way until your batteries are just about completely shot. So, that's another plus advantage for the Maxxis Max. These are common sense things if you really break it down into the fundamentals. So the other thing that we need to compare with is obviously the devices have different modes available to you. On the Drag X, like I said, all you got is your smart mode and you've got your manual mode. Whereas on the Maxxis Max, you've got power, you've got variable power curves, you've got bypass, you also have temperature control because one of the options that you have available is a stainless steel 316L MX1 coil that you can pop in here. So let's take our first toke on the triple coil Maxxis Max and the single coil VM1 in the Drag X. Find out what the really difference is. Tons of clouds, tons of nice, clean flavor that pops. This is my OG blue I mix up myself. And the flavoring on there is at a minimum. The sweetener on it as a minimum. And the flavor in this Maxxis Max pops. Now, brand new VM1 coil. This one's only running at 35 watts compared to this one at 75. And technically for the three coil option, you could run this up at 100 watts is the ideal. We'll turn it up in a second here and take a look at it. But let's compare the 35 watts in this one, in the Drag X. Not as much vapor, nice dense flavor, but it's just a nice flavor. It doesn't pop like it does from the MX-1 coils or the MX-3 coil in here. The T-fiber cotton does make a difference. It's a nice, bright flavor, truly representative of the juice that I mix. And because there's three coils, much less restrictive than you get out of the VM1 coils.
definite win in my book for the Maxis Max. So, wrapping this thing up, we've talked about the differences. Number one, you've got different coil options available to you. The MX coils, there's three different options. They're all truly sub-ohm coils for tons of clouds, tons of flavor, and a beautiful vape. Doesn't matter whether you're using the triple coil or the single coil, a nice, dense, flavorful vape. The Drag X, petite, small, runs at much lower wattages, thereby somewhat negating the dual battery versus single battery argument. But if you're looking for flavor, you're looking for lots of clouds, there's no dual battery option available to you right now other than the Maxxis Max. Don't get me wrong, I like this Drag X. Works great, it's a nice vape. You get the flavor out of it. It's just not as bright as you can get from the MX coils in the Maxxis Max. Lifespan, talked about that single coil. It's gonna last you two, three weeks. Dual coils typically last about a week to 10 days. I'm curious to see what this triple coil is gonna last. I'll leave a comment and pin it after this one finally dies. Delicious. The mods themselves are different. A lot more options available for this one. And they're releasing a 510 adapter for this mod. So if you get the Maxis Max, you can put your RBA on there if you can't get a hold of the MX coils and you don't want to use the pod mod. Beautiful options. What else we got? Screen size is different. Output's different. So I guess it's time for my final thoughts. You need to pick what's best for you. They all have their advantages. Some people might look at it as a disadvantage having something that's bigger and you want something small, comparable to a pod mod. Comparable to a disposable. Much less output on a disposable. Now, this is mouth to lung. This is restricted direct lung. And that's a true sub ohm vape. That wraps it up for me for today. I'm still working on my studio. You can tell the panel's sitting back there. This thing's the disaster zone. I'm slowly working to get it cleaned up. But that wraps it up for today. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Uh, Anti-vaping propaganda is brain poison. Yeah, it really is. Vaping is better than smoking. Smoking.